a day in the life of an anonymous streamer. Oh great, another one of these stupid small streamers. Wow, I really care about their stupid life. Went to my local store to grab a couple souvenirs, then went home and checked my closet for some gamer drip to wear. Drip? Bro, you sound like you're 80 years old. You should be checking for your zoom zoom top hat. Edited a couple stream compilation videos, then I had a four hour stream that peaked at five viewers. You had a four hour stream that got five viewers. Uh, you're doing something wrong. I'm not even trying to hate, it's just, this video is a waste of time. And then I was pretty tired, so I went to bed. What the are you tired from? You did nothing all day. And the best part is, right now, this streamer, Joe Gaiman, is getting tomatoes thrown all over him on Twitter for a clip that's gone viral of him having an embarrassing and horrible response to losing in a game that he made himself just for the purpose of winning it on his stream. Okay, so we're gonna skip the usual stage of the game where we accumulate vegetables in the island of Bajonkistan and just launch a nuke right at Bajuki Land. And since this game has a completely accurate map of the real Bajuki Land, we can just use our knowledge of Bajukanese geography to sneak in and go right to the part where I can go undercover in the Bajukanese army. <laughs> And the best part is, at this stage, Mario Judah is a playable character with unlimited power. So I could just blow everyone away with his magical rap, rock, and goth metal blend with unique vibrato vocals. Let's take a look at the chat. Here's a comment that says, Hey Joe Gaiman, you sound familiar. My dog is really sick and I'm having a bad day. Could you cheer me up with a face reveal? Oh, your dog is sick? Bro, it's Friday. I'm not in the mood to hear about that, so cut the malarkey. So, why is this streamer who's playing a game that he made for five viewers so concerned about a face reveal? And then I remembered something. Malarkey. Cut the, cut the malarkey. malarkey. Using complex voice cut recognition technology, I was actually able to cut match the speech malarkey. patterns of streamer Joe malarkey. Gaiman for none other than President Joe Biden. And well, Mr. Biden, how are you going to explain this? I'm losing a boss fight to the president of Bajuki Land. How the f can I be losing at a game that I used a billion dollars in taxpayer money to make myself? Ah, I'm going to do the world's most embarrassing on-stream rage quit. Ah! That's right. Joe Biden is the worst gamer ever. And so, I say to you, Mr. Biden, I demand that you resign and appoint a new president. A president whose fits of gamer rage are not only not embarrassing, but are beloved by the gaming community for being hilarious and relatable. That's right, I'm talking about Mark Edward Fishbach, also known as Markiplier. Markiplier. Mark will be the first president to bring honor to the gaming community. And not only that, he looks amazing in the fan art that I've drawn of him pregnant. Mark for president. Mark for president. Mark for president. Mark hey, what are you president. talking about? I want Markiplier to be president. Is he running? Yeah, he's running away from zombies in the survival horror games to which he's known to hilariously react. No, running for president. You say you want him to be president. Has he declared that he's running for president? I'm sure once he's elected, he'll declare that he's doing it. That's not how that works. Markiplier has to declare that he's running for president first, then a political party has to nominate him. Nominate? And... You mean like, nom nom nom, I'm going to eat le all the tacos? No, nominate means people tell him they want him to be their candidate first and then he runs. So I need to talk to him first. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Hello, is this Markiplier? Thank you for calling McDonald's US customer care line. Mark? Why are you pronouncing your name like McDonald's? In a few words, Hello? tell me why you're calling in today. Uh, I'm trying to reach Markiplier. I want to nominate you for president now that Biden has been implicated in an embarrassing rage quit scandal. You can say things like mobile app help. Mark, I'm trying to talk to Markiplier. <sighs> Fine. It looks like there's only one thing left for me to do. Hey guys. I'm sure you can see by the thumbnail that I'm quitting, and just to be more specific, I am quitting the Markiplier Phantom. Because when his country needed a gamer in the highest office to 
to perform hilarious rage quits, he wasn't up for the job. And that's why I am nominating someone even more qualified to be president. Me. I'm a real gamer. And unlike the terrible gamer, Joe Gaiman, I will play and win real games. And I won't be spending billions of taxpayer dollars on them either, because I plan on waiting until there is a sale in the Steam store. So please, vote for me for president. All right. Nominated myself for president? Time to record myself doing some everyday tasks, stream for four hours, then go to bed. Wow, what a great night's sleep. Time to check the news and see if I won the presidential election. Yep, I won. I'm president now. Okay, day one is president. Time to get started with my first presidential game stream. Excuse me, Mr. President, but the Congress is on the phone. They say you need to sign the new budget bill. Tell them I'll do it later. I need to make gaming content for my YouTube channel now. Okay, let's see. What game to... Uh, I'm sorry, sir. They, they say it's urgent. Okay, I'll sign it. Um, they said you have to read it first and then go on TV and make a speech about it. Ugh, what a long day being president. You know what? I don't really have the energy to record a new stream and then edit it. I know, I'll just throw together a quick edit of some footage I shot the other day before I was president and post it as a YouTube short. All right, day two of being president. Time to finally start my first ever presidential game stream. Um, excuse me, sir, we have a PR crisis? Uh, someone with a profile picture of a weird cat has made an edit of your edit from the other night and, well, take a look. Oh great, another one of these stupid president streamers. Wow, I really care about their stupid <laughs> president streamers. Went to my fridge to grab a lemon, then went and checked my closet for some grown-up looking clothes to wear while I'm president. Grown-up clothes? Saying that makes you sound like you're five years old. Maybe you should be checking your closet for some Roblox pajamas, dude. Then I had to check the Steam store to see if there were any sales because I said I would only spend taxpayer money on sale games, which would be totally poggers. Dab time. You're saying totally poggers and dabbing. Now you sound like a 80 year old trying to be cool because that's not literally the craziest thing ever. Then I had a four hour stream that peaked at five viewers. Bro, you had a four hour stream that got five viewers? Bro, you're doing something wrong. I'm not even trying to hate, it's just a waste of time. After that, I was pretty tired, so I went to bed to wait and see what my presidential approval rating would be tomorrow. What the hell are you tired from? You did nothing all day. Criminy out. Doesn't this guy understand how hard it is to be president? I would make a stream that got more viewers, but I've been busy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Congress is on the phone. They want you to apologize for saying totally poggers and dabbing because, and I quote, that's not literally the cringiest thing ever. Oh, well, I'll apologize, all right. Hey, guys. So, this is hard to do, but, well, I'm done being president. This wasn't an easy decision to make, but I think for my community, it's the right thing to do. I really enjoyed the opportunity to be the leader of America, but in the end, it was really getting in the way of providing my fans with the best gaming content. I also want to apologize to Joe Gaiman. I understand now why you decided to stream a fake game that you could always win. Being president is a demanding task, and. There just isn't time to create great streams of new games without Congress calling you up every day with a bunch of, well, malarkey. So, for my last act in office, I am now appointing Joe Biden president again. Well, Mr. Biden, congrats on being president again. Congress wants you to look at the new... Hang on, Jack. I'm catching up on the rest of the videos from the guy who doxed me. Joe Biden is the worst gamer ever. I demand that you resign and appoint a new president. That's right, I'm talking about Markiplier. He made a great point. I shouldn't be president. Markiplier should. Get this Mark guy on the phone and tell him I'm appointing him president. Markiplier here. Today we're streaming Bajuki Land Farming Simulator Presidential Edition. What the f***? How the f*** am I losing this boss fight? Who the f*** this game is? Uh, President Plier? There's someone on the phone for you. It's the president of... I didn't finish. Bajuki Land. 
I don't care if it's not a real country. I hate it, and I think it should be duped. The president of Bajuki Land. Hey, or Bajuki Land is real, and guess what? We're nuking you! Ah, uh, we're getting nuked because President Markiplier had too much gamer rage. Ah, uh, well, as you can see by this video, it is really hard to make content and do other jobs such as be president at the same time. So please subscribe to patreon.com slash Tony so I can focus on making gaming content and not so much on my other job. That's right. I'm president of Bajonkistan 2. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Time to nuke Bajuki.